Okay, now when we think of this enterprise structure, enterprise structure, and ask yourself the question, why are we doing this enterprise structure? Most people will be tempted to say, yeah, we're doing this enterprise structure because we want to structure our enterprise meaning we want to put some organization around uh, the company. That would be a very tempting answer, but unfortunately that's not correct. That's not the reason why, why we do enterprise structure. Barring a few exceptions, one or two, most of the elements in the enterprise structure like sales org, distribution channel, division, sales office, sales group, these things are really useful for reporting. This is the most uh, fundamental reason why we do enterprise structure. What do I mean by this reporting thing? And I mean reporting, okay, how many, how much of sales did we do in this distribution channel? How many new, let's say sales and it's dollar 100 million in retail and dollar 150 million in um, uh, franchise sale so that gives somebody uh, up in the value chain say the CEO CIO some picture on which distribution channel to concentrate on which needs more efforts uh, which gives them more leverage so on and so forth and you can probably think about a million reports like this based on sales or based on divisions which product lines are doing more, which product lines need more and more R&D because the sales is increasing, which is an upcoming and promising product line, so on and so forth, right? And you can talk about sales offices. How, what, what kind of sales did this particular sales office do? How much commissions did uh, the, sale, the particular sales group, right? Sales group, how much commission did he get? These are all examples of uh, reports that can be pulled once you create your master data and transactional data according to a particular structure. And that structure in this case being the enterprise structure. So reporting is the primary reason why you use enterprise structure. Okay? There is another reason which is more operational. Okay? Let me write here operational meaning you want to give a special discount example you want to give a special discount to all let's say coupon right you want to give a special coupon to only a retail distribution channel so unless you classify as a customer belonging to retail or a transaction like a sales order belonging to a retail um, you know section or segment you can't really give that coupon out right you only want to give that out to a retail so giving a coupon is an example giving a discount any other kind of discount like uh, a promotional offer where you give 10 percent discount to all corporate customers sure that can only be possible if you classify the customer or the transaction as being corporate right you want to have special pricing for it you want to have special freight for it these are all operational reasons meaning they are useful for your day-to-day -day operations so unless you classify um, your data like the customer master or the transactions as belonging to one particular segment you can't really um, you know create all these operational uh, you, you can't really uh, give these or do these operational uh, interactions like giving coupons, discounts, or having special freight, so on and so forth. So these are the two main uses of enterprise structure. One is operational, second is reporting. The third is almost a subset of reporting, I would say, is uh, what I would call, so we have two uses, right? Let me just summarize that. So you got your enterprise structure, And you have two uses for that, I said. One is operational, where on a day-to-day -day basis, 
you would need your data to be structured in a particular way and another is reporting okay now a, a, a subset of reporting is internal versus external internal is all the reports that we have discussed in reporting like sales reports operational reports like uh, what's the total discount that we have given are we going to losses or profits that's internal it's only relevant for our own companies employees or the decision the, the decision makers but external is probably for the government or for the SEC or for any other external board that requires some data if it's a public limited company let's say uh, if it's a private limited yeah the government is probably needs your transactions for tax records but if it's a public limited company yeah like Apple or any of those big companies they would need to you know file their returns with SEC because they deal with public money the bottom line is this is a special kind of reporting that not just used internally within the company but it's sent out uh, to somebody else like the government or SEC. The key org element uh, that is used for this external reporting is company code. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty important org element. So that's why all business transactions are performed under this head. So irrespective of whatever the business transaction is, anything that happens in the company, well, most things, okay, um, have to happen under a particular company code. Okay, so company code um, is company code is super important. Company code is very important. And the reason being, like I said, everything has to be done under a head. Now when we talk about sales we talk about sales org so everything happens under the sales org when we have talk about purchasing everything happens under the purchasing org right when we talk about warehouse management everything happens under a plant but when we talk about the company in general the big daddy for all of these different org elements is the company code and any transaction that you do here or here or here has to be finally linked to a particular company code that's why each sales org is linked to a company code but like and similarly purchase org is linked to a company code and similarly plant is linked to a company code and so on okay so company code has a special place uh, in that you know it's 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 the head under which you do all your um, transactions so that anything that you want uh, finally when you pull your balance sheets and profit and loss it's done at the company code level this is the place at which you do your profit and loss account so which is basically uh, accounting for how much did we make this year and how much did we lose this year right and balance sheet so how much assets we have uh, how, how, how many liabilities we have so on and so forth this is the importance of enterprise structure so uh, let me quickly summarize what you've just learned We were trying to discuss the importance of enterprise structure. So we said enterprise structure is not just created because we want to put our org into structure. But the two main reasons why we do enterprise structure is one is reporting and another is operational. Reporting because unless you organize your transactions into different sections or sectors or or other any other kind of org elements you, can, you can't really do any kind of reporting on it and we have seen some examples of reporting like sales reports purchase reports uh, discount reports or channel reports these are the types of reports that can be pulled out of the raw data like the raw customer data raw sales data raw purchasing data raw invoices data operational on the other hand is giving uh, or rather performing certain operational activities based on the way you have structured your enterprise so um, we want to give special discounts to 
uh, to a particular channel or you want to give coupons to a particular customer group right unless you really classify a customer as belonging to a particular channel or a sales order belonging to a particular channel you can't really uh, do these operational things that are required generally in the enterprise so reporting and operational purposes are the main reasons why an enterprise structure is created and used so a special case of reporting is company code company code where we said uh, the reporting that happens in company code is not just used for internal purposes uh, but it's used externally also like reporting it to the government for tax and other reasons so company code plays a very special role when we talk about reporting so like i said all transactions have to be accounted for in the company code so that's the head under which all accounting is done if you move goods from one place to another the company code has has to record it uh, if you sell some goods to the customer the company code has to record it if you purchase some goods the company code has to report it so uh, a special sub case of reporting that's especially used for legal and government purposes is the company code so this is a pretty important piece of the enterprise structure that that's used um, you know both for operational as well as reporting and especially on the legal and government front